Let's head back to the voicemail of Truth and Reason. Hi, this is Rico. I've been going back and forth with some fans about tanking for a better draft position or winning games. In my opinion, I believe you should always try and win. If I was Stefanski, I would want to win as many games as humanly possible. I mean, ultimately, we as fans can't control the outcome of a game, so if they win or lose, that's up to the team. But my thing is, we've been a losing organization. What has that brought us in regards to this great team full of Hall of Fame players? But that has done nothing for this team in decades. Also, do you trust Andrew Barry to draft a player? And do you trust Stefanski to develop them? Because I don't know if I do anymore. What say you? Thanks. As always, appreciate all of the voicemails. Let's welcome in Dalton Wasserman, PFF data analyst, also co-host of the PFF College Football Show. Uh, Dalton, I, I am never in favor of tanking or, or however you do that. Um, the, the other, the, I think Kevin Svansky and Andrew Berry have, have um, done well enough that you give them the benefit of a doubt for one down season. Um, I, I keep coming back to it was a scheme mismatch with um, Deshaun Watson, and it was a, 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 and I was all for rebuilding the offense around him. Boy, was that a disaster. I couldn't have been more wrong. Yeah, I think what you're getting right now is it, it is, for as much as the quarterback and Deshaun Watson's in the spotlight, it is a team-wide offensive problem, right? You've got very much an aging and injured offensive line. They, they have yet to find – they had Amari Cooper, but they have yet to build any depth at wide receiver. Nick Chubb is getting older and, and coming off a major injury, and, you know, and we're seeing he's going to try to get back into rhythm here. But it feels like now – they have to make a decision on what the timeline is to start winning again, right? Because it's not it's not going to be this year, and I, and they're they're not going to tank. They're going to go out there. They're going to try to win games. You got a very veteran team that wants to go out there and win games, but I, I do wonder, as opposed to just full tilt tanking, how many of these veteran guys get traded, right? When you talk about this talk, especially about Zadarius Smith lately, we've already seen Amari Cooper go. I think that's the biggest question. Is kind of, it's kind of that baseball that baseball trade deadline seller thing, right? Where it's like, okay. Let's let's start getting the draft assets. Let's start rebuilding the farm, and we got to start playing for next year. It's it's not a tank by any means, but it is certainly a redirect towards the future. Yeah, I, I, do you expect it to be a full? Is it a full rebuild, or do you think they try to tweak it? And and the offensive line is is one. It got old in a hurry. <laughs> Yeah, it sure did. I mean, this this is the problem is they need younger players at a lot of spots on their team. And, and I think the first question, the offensive line, yes, but then you start talking about this quarterback situation. And obviously Watson's contract is fully guaranteed, but now you're talking about it, it's late October and he just tore his Achilles. He, he may not play at all next year, may, maybe a little bit late in the year, but he's, he's looking at a long recovery process. So it's hard to say you can even really build it around him. So what do you do? Do you take a quarterback this year in this year's draft? Do you build the rest of it? Do you take an offensive lineman? Do you start getting younger on defense as well maybe? Do you take the top receiver? Uh, it, it's going to be interesting to see what direction they go in because now you know with their quarterback situation the way it is, it's hard to envision them um winning next year anyway right even though you still have a pretty good defense but this offense is really they have to figure out a clear-cut direction of where this is going for the future because right now it's incredibly murky